Hello and welcome back to Sustainable Teacher. If it is your first time here, my name is Leticia and I'm glad to meet you. And if you've been here before, I'm happy to see you again. In today's video, we are going to end with the mechanism unit and we are going to talk about the last part of this topic, which are mechanisms that transform movement like from one type of movement to another type of movement. If this video sounds interesting to you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. In previous videos, I'm gonna leave them over here, one after the other, we learn about the basic mechanisms and rotary mechanisms. But some mechanisms are complex and actually Mechanisms found in machines, like in complex machines, like a car, usually are mechanisms of this type. So even if we are not going to dive very deep in this topic, I just want to show you some basic mechanisms that are complex and that transform movement, okay? The first example are cams with eccentric wheels. So the first question is what is a cam and what is an eccentric wheel, okay? So a cam is just an ovoid kind of ovoid piece with an axle, with a shaft. But the shaft is not in the geometrical center of the ovoid piece of the cam, okay? And an eccentric wheel is a wheel, is a circular piece, but the geometric center of the circle and the rotary center, the rotational center, is not the, in the same point. So the result will be something like this. And the main use of these mechanisms is in valves. But just for fun, I wanted to show you an example of this automaton that used this type of mechanism. But usually cams are not with eccentric wheels, are not used like that. They are used in compound objects with lots of cams and they are called cam shafts because there are lots of cams in one in the same shaft. They didn't thought too much about the name, right? And this is used in combustion engines, like in this example, the Google said this is the engine of a BMW V8 model car. Another example of mechanisms that transform rotary movement into linear movement, apart from cams, are cranks. In this case, it's a crank and a connected rod. So the crank is the wheel, it's an eccentric wheel with a movable shaft and the connected rod is just a, a bar that transmits the movement, okay? An example of a simple crank with connected rod could be found in the sewing machines and the connected rod would be the needle, okay? And the crank is inside the sewing machine, usually we can't see it. But as in the case of cams and eccentric wheels, they are usually used in, com in more complex mechanisms, they are using compound mechanisms with a lot of cranks in a shaft. So again, the name is crankshaft. And they are also used in engines. Specifically, it seems that they are used in diesel engines. So this is the sample that you can find in this slide. And finally, that's it. We finished the mechanism unit. And I hope you understand now better what is a mechanism and which type of mechanisms are there. And even if these are really complex, there's this mechanism that can transform from one type of movement to another type of movement. Leave in the comments if you find this part interesting, even if it's not that, that easy to understand, even if we, we didn't use any kind of formula, we just saw the examples. If you ever thought that cars could use this type of mechanism, if you knew the name, if you knew something about this, if you are an expert in cars and you know a lot about engines and crank and cams and all these kind of things and shafts, everything you want, leave it in the comments and of course, see you soon.